Davis, Brandon Gordon. It's the Rams with a football to get us going, but they face a second and long to start things out. They'll stick to the ground game with Gurley. And they'll get him down right about the 20. Two yards gets them back to where they started, but now third and 10. Well, he hasn't made much of an impact in the running game thus far, and after that last run, not much is going to change in that area. He hasn't been able to get anything going, and really the offensive line not helping him much. Throwing on third. Gone. Looking this time for Woods, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Robert Alford. The 40, the 30, 10, and he will score. Touchdown, Falcons. Well, someone just made a house call, and his name is Robert Alford. You remember that name, don't you, partner? Seen him on the biggest of stages, picking off Tom Brady in Super Bowl 51. Yeah, took it all the way back for a touchdown, then gave his team a 21-3 lead. They didn't hold it, but that was a mammoth play. That was a mammoth play, and what we just saw was a mammoth play. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six, and now the kick is away. This is fielded at the goal line. Then he'll take this across the 25, a couple extra yards up to the 27-yard line. Jared Goff and the Rams headed back onto the field. He's got to dig deep here, doesn't he? Team's losing. He's not playing well either. And they always tell you, don't press. You'll make things a little bit worse. But in this particular situation, you try and heighten your play a little bit. So far, he's thrown one interception. He wants to balance that off with at least one touchdown pass in order to get his team back moving forward. That goes down as a loss against his rushing stats. But really, should he have to absorb that one? He had no chance on that play before they overwhelmed him. Pretty much on top of him before he could take his first step. Here comes carry number 10 for Gurley. And not a whole lot doing there as he'll get it up to about the 28-yard line. Give him three yards on the run there. That still leaves him with a difficult third and eight coming up. Well, if the coaching staff's doing a good job upstairs, they'll file away what they just saw from the defense right there. They sold out to stop that running play. I'd say keep that in mind. They want to try that again. Go play action. Hit him over the top. Goff now to throw. And a big loss here as he's taken down. Brooks Reed in there to make the play. It'll be a loss of 14, and it'll bring up a fourth down. He was trying to keep his eyes downfield. Nobody came open. He's trying to do everything that he had been taught, right? Every bit of the technique. But if no one's open, there is no technique, except make sure you hold on to the ball as you go to the ground when you're getting sacked. Taken in at the 22. Look at the dance and the juke. And now running right through him. Oh, and now he bowls him over. A terrific return. 30 yards all in all. And the Falcons are set up well to begin their drive as it'll begin in enemy territory already. Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. And he'll get it down here to the 43. Five yards on the catch there. Brings up second down. Brian going to give to Freeman on the draw. And they see right through that defensively. As he'll be hit and taken down to the backfield. Coming up at halftime in a little less than two minutes, we'll send you to Orlando where Larry Ridley is standing by. He'll have highlights and analysis of this first half. Nice move at the 40. He completes it to Julio Jones. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. And now we won't see a play on first down. We're going to get a timeout instead as he'll get a chance to talk it over after picking up the first down. So after that big play, let's see if they can catch their defense maybe on their heels. Now Ryan on first down. They'll set up the screen for Freeman. 
Nice move at the five. Another big gainer that time. This one goes for 19 yards. When you run a screen pass really well, you got to like the look of it because so many parts come together to make it work well. The offensive linemen where they're faking people out, the back slipping out there, catching the football, then all of them going together as one unit downfield. A really nice pickup. And he's going to get this back to the three-yard line and no further. They'll say no gain on the play, and it'll be second and goal. Then he got off the end there very quickly to make that play. That yeah, was almost like the bullet train, wasn't it? I mean, just zoom, quick, 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 and what a terrific play, holding them to no gain. On second down, here's Ryan. And he just chucked that one out of bounds, out of everyone's reach. Maybe a wise call not to take a sack in this part of the field. It brings up third down. Those strong windows get a lot tighter near the end zone, don't they? And here's the thing. You already probably have three points in your hip pocket. You force a throw here and give up an interception, you come away with nothing. And especially tough in the middle third of the field where he threw that one. And before they can run this third down play, we're going to get a timeout as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. This defense has held on so far. Now from the three, this is third and goal. They come out here in the eye. On third and goal, Ryan. And he is into the end zone for a Falcon touchdown. Levine Toilolo from three yards out. And the Falcons will extend their lead. And that'll give them a two-score lead here, but I'm looking ahead. They just want to hold it for the final moments here of the second quarter. They don't want to give up anything on the other side. No, not at all, because if they don't, it almost had the feel of an imposing their will score. And right now, they want to make sure they keep that and carry it into the second half. So that drives seven plays in length. And the Falcons score to cap it off. Here's Bosher to kick it away. This is fielded a couple yards deep. And the decision to bring it out is going to cost him about seven yards, all told, as he's taken down back shy of the 20. Getting set to go again here, Robert Woods marches back onto the field. A chance maybe here for them to get him more involved. They're down here on the scoreboard, and he's been very quiet. And the silence has been deafening for his team. They don't need that at all. They need fireworks. They need explosive plays. They need him touching the football in any way, Pop. Look at this time for Woods, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Robert Alford. And he takes this one back into the end zone, and the Falcon defense has a touchdown. Now, that was a beautiful play, a pick six. How would you punctuate something like that, partner? What do you mean with an exclamation mark? Exclamation mark, a big word. What would you do with the ampersand? I like it. Here's Bryant for the extra point. And that one makes this a 19-point game. So the defense creating some points, not only getting the interception, but then returning it to the end zone for the pick six. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. This is fielded at the goal line. The Rams offense now making their way out to take over. And what do you think goes on here in this situation? If you got the football, you're trailing, you're back in your own territory with just a little time. Do you try something? You're thinking about jump-starting your team, right? You just mentioned they're down. They're trying to get back into the game. But you got to figure if something goes wrong, you may have put yourself in a spot where you may not be able to come back in the second half. Managing risk, this is a big decision here. 
With the struggles we're seeing up front for the offense today, they've got to think about changing up their play calling. Some screens, some draws, some quick hitting plays in order to try and supplement the run game. You don't totally abandon it, but you try and give it a little bit of help. Again, they run with Gurley. And a big collision there as he winds up flat on his back right at the 20. All right, Brandon, we'll see if I can get through this without being skipped as we welcome you to our EA Sports Halftime Report. The Rams trail at home at halftime. The Falcons will want to come out after the half and really put the pressure on from the start. So let's take a look at some of the highlights from the first half. Falcons with the ball late in the first. Here the defense will come up with the pick. Ogletree is reading the play and comes away with it, ending the drive. Offense on the field now after the pick. The pass ends up being picked off. Falcons would then turn it around for the touchdown. Falcons up now by five. Third and seven. Catch is made after a quick pass, and he won't be brought down until he makes it to the 23-yard line. Falcons have it later on the drive. Toy Lolo's got the catch here on the quick pass, and he caps off the six-play drive with the score. That takes the lead up to 12. First and 10, Coughs under pressure and throws the pick. Alford's the one taking it back for the score. Falcons up now by 18. 